That tree looks just like the one on the agate. I think I'll grab Bob and head out in that direction. that tree branch and pull myself up. Oh yeah. Ancient cliff dwellings. Awesome. Yikes! Falling down there would not be fun. here. That doesn't go there. That looks right. That looks right. This goes here. That looks right. There it is. Dirk Valentine's treasure. Solid gold hearts. Why, hello, Nancy. Find the treasure yet? So you're the one who's been sabotaging the ranch. That's right. Here my buddies and I went to all that trouble. Wrangling that horse, busting that pipe, cutting those wires trying to scare people off the ranch so we could tear the place apart looking for the treasure. When all we really had to do was what I just got done doing. Follow you. You went to a lot of trouble for nothing. The treasure's gone. Well, now, I don't believe you, Miss Nancy. Oh, and by the way, it's too far to make it back to the ranch without a horse, and I just ran yours off, which means you, to use an old cooking expression, 
are toast. That's what you think. Looks to me like the only way out is the way you came in, Nancy. So, ready or not, here I come. There's gotta be a way to stop Shorty. Think! I'm getting close! Just went through another door, Nancy! There. Now I better hide. Last door. After I get the treasure, I'll deal with you. Whoa! You switched door markers on me, didn't you? That was downright mean, Nancy. I could have hurt myself. At least you can do is help me off of here. How about it? Nah, I think I'll go get the sheriff and let him help you off of there. Dear Hannah, it turns out that Shorty had ridden to the cliff dwellings on the Phantom Horse, which was really just a trick horse that a friend of one of his bank robber buddies had trained. Since my horse was gone and it was getting dark, I wound up riding it back to the ranch so I could call the sheriff. You should have seen the look on everyone's face when I rode up on a glowing horse. It looks like the phosphorescent powder that they used to make it glow was harmless, but Tex is taking care of the horse until he's sure it's okay. Mary Yazzie has straightened everything out with the Raleigh's, and now she comes over a lot, mostly to see Tex. He turns beet red whenever she's around. It's actually kind of cute. Speaking of cute, Dave confessed to the Raleigh's as soon as they got home from the hospital, just like he said he would. They not only forgave him, they even offered to split the treasure with him if it turns out they can keep it. Sheriff Hernandez is looking into it. The best part is, Bess and George finally got here, and we've been having a ball. Here's a picture of the three of us on our horses. Unfortunately, Dave took it. Guess he didn't realize his finger was over the lens. <laughs> See you in a couple of days. Love, Nancy. P.S. I started reading the Charlene Purcell novel Aunt Bet has. And you know what? I can't put it down. If dreams can come true, what about curses? Well, in my next mystery adventure, you can find out for yourself, if you dare. I've been invited to a creepy old castle in England to find out who or what is terrorizing its residents. Could it be that the spirit of a centuries-old witch has returned to seek revenge? And why, after 300 years, has the beast of Blackmoor returned to prowl the moors again? The answers to these and many other dark secrets will be uncovered in my next case, The Curse of Blackmore Manor. <laughs>